there's a if you do help supposedly the from what I was reading online mm -hmm. there's a part that's pretty heavy like it's awkward and heavy the, the, the actual stone that goes on top the cooking surface okay I can help you lift it up on it I appreciate it because uh I hear that it's it's I hear at least what they sell online for one person it's kind of a weird length the yeah it's just a a weird freaking okay I'll take this out there Spot. That's oh look at that man. Oh fuck. That's the back of it. Oh shit. We can push it out. Yeah, we can knock it out with the, I got a rubber mallet up there. I was just wondering. I got a rubber mallet too. You don't think this here's the, this was, Where did it come from? It was twelve hundred bucks from Blackstone. It showed oh, you bought, up. Bought them direct with yeah. Them? It showed up. And uh that piece was that's the only piece we saw so far. So we sent them a picture, they go, they refund us the money, I go, what about the girl? Like, oh, I just keep it. Oh, so I, yeah, it's, it's a free grill. Oh, get so, out of here. So I'm like, I don't really, I'm not one of those Are guys. Are you serious? That, yeah, I'm not one of those guys that gives a shit about. Like, I know. You know. If it works, I'm like, wow, whatever. So yeah. That's crazy. So it's, I got a twelve hundred dollar. Look at you. you black, black stone for free. So okay. Well, but, we'll they, take all the debts then. Yeah. When the guy showed up, he's like, that it, it, it was supposed to be pre the guy. Part of the price was they assembled it for you. So they sent the guy out. This guy was. He didn't want to do it. He, um, he, he's like, oh, I can't be, it can't be done. I'm like, can't it's metal. It's, I go, metal's like, malleable. Like pushing it out? No, that, that one piece. He goes, you can't straighten that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I go, dude, he this metal. want to do it. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, it's metal. It means it's malleable. Mm -hmm. I mean, metal can be bent into anything you want. Yeah. Like, you can, the nicest, but. You don't have to wear rubber gloves if you don't want it. Oh, I just didn't want my fingerprints. I don't care. And unless you're trying to hide it from the. I don't care, but. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't got any warrants on me. looking for murder or something, Nah. All right, guys. So today I'm assembling a uh, Blackstone griddle. Now, as you guys heard earlier from the customer, he got this grill for literally $1,200. Now, when he got it in, I guess they had a promotion where they included the assembly part of it in the price. So when the guy showed up and opened the box, he saw a piece that was bent and refused to put it together, saying that he just was not going to be able to do it. So what the customer did, he actually called the company Blackstone and uh, he just wanted a replacement part. Initially, it was just uh, a straight piece that you're going to see later in the video. It's just uh, a straight piece that goes underneath the um, uh, the range top that holds the thing together. And he just wanted a replacement. Literally just a few dollars worth. He didn't even know the actual grill was bent, like uh, uh, the top of the grill you, you saw earlier. And the company told him that they don't uh, have the spare parts and then it would have been several months for him to receive, uh, you know, uh, a replacement. So instead of, uh, sh you know, giving him a partial refund or uh, having him, uh, you know, ship the whole thing back and all that, they just told him, you know what, uh, you can have a full refund and uh, just keep the grill. We just want you to be happy. We are sorry about it, and uh, hopefully this will make you happy. And the guy was really nice about it. He literally just wanted a replacement part. He was not looking for a discount. He was not looking to scam anybody. He literally just wanted a new replacement piece uh, so that way he can get his grill put together. Uh, but instead, he literally got a free grill, $1,200 worth. Actually, I looked at the price on Amazon, and it was $1,300. If I'm ever in the business of uh, buying a griddle, I'm definitely buying Blackstone because if that's the way they treat all their customers, uh, I mean, that's amazing. Now, I'm not sure if this company is going to be in business uh, in the future because if they do that with all their customers, to be honest, I have no idea how they're going to stay in business. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with uh, how to quote uh, assembly jobs. Now. If you're a handyman, if you're just starting, you're trying to uh, do a side hustle, you're going to get jobs like this all the time. A lot of people do not like to put stuff together. Furniture, uh, appliances, all kinds of stuff. I don't like it either, but mine makes it a lot easier for me to tolerate it. Now, how are you going to quote this? Well, for one, anytime somebody calls you or sends you a text message, you're going to ask for the make and model. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go on the website. And on the website, normally, you can actually find out how long it's going to take to put 
uh, anything together. Uh, if it's not on the website, it's usually going to be in the manual. And for this grill, I think it was either two or three hours. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, so that's going to give you an average time how long it's going to take. Another thing you need to pay attention to is make sure that it's either one person, two, or three. You got to pay attention to that because sometimes it will say it will take four hours with two people, but it will not tell you how long it will take with one person. So you got to be careful, especially when uh, estimating a job like, uh, like any uh, assembly job so you don't screw up. But anyway, so this one was like two, three hours, and my going rate, um, I don't charge by the hour, but usually for jobs like this, I go by the hour uh, when estimating the entire job. So for this one, I quoted the guy. Um, I gave him a discount because I was doing other work in his house, and so I charged him $150 for this one. Now, if he had just called me just to do this grill, uh, I would have charged him two hundred dollars uh, because the instructions uh, said uh, I think it was two hours uh, to put it together so it wasn't that complicated now a hundred dollars an hour I mean that's not bad at all uh, that's good money uh, it's just tedious work when you first open the box it's, it, it looks very overwhelming so the the way I deal with that is I take everything out of the box and then lay everything out and then I literally follow the manual page by page and then I just start putting the stuff together and then as you start going uh, and getting into it you will realize that it's not really that complicated and it literally just takes time and most times a lot of these appliances they go together about the same way so if you do a few uh, grills, a few you know dressers, a few beds, a few whatever you, you get the hang of it and you will get faster with time uh, yeah, so a hundred bucks an hour. Did I always charge a hundred bucks an hour? No, I did not. I think when I first started uh, my handyman business, I started for uh, assembling jobs like this. I started charging, I think, forty-five dollars an hour. So now I charge a hundred because anything less than that is just not worth my time, guys. I mean, I do a lot of roofing. I do a lot of drywall and uh, just for the time that it takes to put something like this together even though it's very easy and anybody with an average uh, IQ can actually do it it's just the time that it takes to do it it's just not worth my time so for anybody that calls me and they want me to put anything together I usually quote at about a hundred dollars an hour now I don't tell them a hundred dollars an hour what I do tell them is make a model then I do my own research and then if it says you know two three hours then I charge two three hundred dollars so I tell them it will cost you you know two or three hundred dollars to put whatever they're trying to put together and then you know that way th they either say yes or no so for most people I would say 50 50 I uh, people say yes and the other 50 say no most of my uh, existing customers they don't care so come up with a price that you feel comfortable making an hour uh, make sure you do not tell your customer the hourly uh, rate just give them a price for the full project and um, and then if they try to haggle you just tell them that you're not interested uh, you do not want to work for people like that um, but other than that uh, if you're just starting obviously you're not going to be making 100 bucks an hour you can go with you know whatever the going rate is in your area and then as you get more proficient you can you know charge more you can liter literally make a business out of just putting the stuff together and that's it if that's all you want to do I mean all you gotta do is just be able to read a manual and then just put stuff together and you can literally charge a lot cheaper than I do and make tons of money I mean anybody in my area will give you you know 30 40 bucks an hour all day long just put stuff together uh, you can even partner it up with um, companies like uh, furniture uh, companies appliance uh, companies um, and then you can just literally tell them hey you know if you have customers uh, I can put the stuff together you know for this much an hour I can work for you I can work for your customers and they will give you work if this is what you want to do now for me I hate putting stuff together so um, I don't want to just do this every single day 
Um, but for this guy right here, I was doing other work in his house, so I gave him a discount, and then he was really cool about it, so I didn't mind. But anyways, uh, that's it. Another thing about this grill is uh, it came with a few spare parts that were not in, even in the manual, and I have no clue where they belonged. So, and also, um, there were some, a few uh, deficiencies in the grill that uh, I had to tell the customer how to fix it himself because uh, there were some bolts and nuts missing, and, but nothing too major, especially for something that he got for free. So. And then that just hooks to the... Now, after that, I just follow what I did what over there. What is that, there. just a towel? I think so. That's, so, that's, that's supposed to go like that. You sure? Yeah, but I don't want to... I mean, all you need is two nuts. But I'm not going to bend over and put a towel in there. What about... Oh, you work well. Mm. Oh, no, actually, your um, cleaning supplies and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, that so just two okay. nuts. No problem. And then the other screws that are in there on the inside. Okay. So you can just follow what I did over there. It'll okay. literally take oh, yeah. you like one minute. Yeah, no problem. Um, the next thing, what was that? was another issue right here. This nut right here has, I guess, a defect. So oh, yeah. I can <laughs> screw it in place. Now this goes underneath here. Okay. So it just holds this. Uh, well, it's it's held right now, but okay. that prevents it from lifting. Gotcha. Gotcha. So if you can just find another one. Okay. And uh, I got this one here hooked up, I so you a, can just follow. I got a dribble all uh, There you go. So and then you can just screw it on okay. the bottom. No problem. That size good to go. And um, I think that's about it. Oh, so about pounding it from the inside. Well, problem is. Uh, I'm oh, gonna, it's got a. Yeah, it's got a plate. Uh, I guess we can try. Gonna, it's probably not going to do anything. I'm not worried about it. So. I could, I've got a. Uh, I got a dent puller in storage. <laughs> That would be ideal. <laughs> pop, pop. It's, and it gives a shit, you know? And, you know, some people do, so I, I don't give a shit. I don't, but... I'm not, this I'm not a fancy right? guy. Oh, okay. This is fancy. I bet I've got, like, 25 of the same shirts and I bought six pairs of the same shorts. There you go, just like me. Yeah. I, I wear the same thing every day. Yeah. So did Einstein. <laughs> he did. He never... He only... That's all he had. I didn't know. And he said that he did that so he didn't have to think about it. Really? He had more important things to think about than what to wear. Another thing that we need is a double-A battery. For okay, the for the starter. If you have one, okay, yep. that'll be yep. great. So we can just sing, one single double A? Yeah, just one. Move. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah. And no, if you I have just... any issues at all, just let me know. Okay. Um, she doesn't have any issues, though.